Hello guys, it is Letty MIT with another lesson for you guys today. And in today's lesson, I'll be showing you guys how to set up an off canvas menu, which is also known as a hamburger menu, on your website using Pushy. So, this is an example that I did, a website for my friend. Uh, this is a hamburger menu here. If you click it, a menu will pop up. And if we click off side of the screen, it will go away. So, I'll be showing you guys how to do that using Pushy. So, you want to go to the link in the description below and download the zip file. Right here, the top right corner. Once you've done that, you want to open it. And on your desktop or anywhere you want to, uh, make an HTML folder and a CSS folder and a JavaScript folder. So, what you want to do, oops, what you want to do is open up that folder here in CSS. All we need is a pushy.css. We we'll drag that into CSS, and then we we'll need JavaScript. So we'll just drag the pushy.min.js into the JavaScript folder, Oops. and then we we'll to drag the image folder. This is so when we make our sub menu, it will have an arrow on there, have an icon. And then we'll drag C S C S S. We won't mess with that today because I simply don't know how to simply mess with S C S S. So let's dive right into it now. So we're going to set up our index.html. And by the way, I already set up my styles here on my website. As you see, it's purple and it's a bigger font. And I put hello. Okay, so right here we are going to um, link our style sheet so link href equals css slash pushy dot css and then rel rel equals style sheet close it and then we got to add our script so when they put in the body tag at the very bottom, the reason why we do this is so when the website loads, it loads up the HTML first and then it loads up the JavaScript so it makes our web browsing easier. So let's type in script src equals javascript pushy dot min dot js close it. Now we gotta give our HTML file a nav tag. So we nav with the class of pushy and pushy left. Okay, pushy left will actually push the menu to the left side of the screen. Whereas if you do pushy right, it will push it to the right side of the screen. So if you run it on the right side, you just type in pushy right. So I'm using pushy left for the purpose of the tutorial. Now for this, we give our nav an unordered list, and like I said, we are going to add a um, a sub menu. So we're going to do li. Oops, li. We're going to give that class. We're going to give that li a class of a pushy sub menu. And then in here, we're going to add it a tag a href equals we'll point it to nowhere and here we'll just put sub menu and then we're going to add an unordered list in there as well and we do li I actually like to have this in the same line so let's do that and we're going to give this a class of pushy link pushy link and then we're going to close that and then we're going to add an a tag once again href equals points nowhere this will be item one and we're just going to duplicate that like another two times so this will be item two item three that would be it for that part. Now, here we are going to add another list and we are going to give this a class 
of pushy link and then we're going to add an 8 tag on it as well so we can point to nowhere and this will be item 4 so we'll duplicate this as well maybe like 3 times there we go 5 and 6 now let's save that let's see how it looks on our website do F5 there's nothing there you see there's nothing there it's off the canvas you cannot see it but how do we, how exactly do we open it we have to give it a menu uh, menu button actually so underneath this nav tag we are going to add a div and give it a class of site overlay site overlay just close that just leave that alone and then we're going to add another div this would be a div and give it an ID of container. Close that. And from here, we are going to add the menu. So, we're going to add another div with the class of equals menu button. Okay, oops. Just like so. Close that. And then we are going to. Uh, add the menu button so do and hashtag 99 nine. actually it's 9776 seven, and semicolon and just menu just add menu or something or anything you want like lithium IT let's save that and let's refresh the page okay there it is as you see now if we click on it it gives us a menu this is our sub menu as you see we have added a hamburger menu onto your website so I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome tutorial I hope this helped you actually I hope this helped you actually I did say so make sure you hit the subscribe button and maybe later in the future I'll bring some more HTML and CSS tutorials and I'll see you guys later hit the like button share the video and comment what you want to see below and again I'll see you guys later